everybody, and happy Sunday. Welcome to this episode of Unsealed. It is Sunday, November 8th, 2020. Yes, it is. And uh, I'm Kate Dillon from Crate Insider, katedillon.com, and winningmotorsportsmarketing.com. And, of course, I'm here with Steve Hendren from Hendren Racing Engines. And, uh, yeah, we can go and get started. You know, if you're here live, um, drop in a comment. Say hi. You can... You know, we're definitely going to be talking about current events and uh, try not to get cut up, kicked off of Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my goal for today is to... You might get censored. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. It could happen. Mm. It could happen. But you know what? Before we get censored, let's talk about what we're drinking this week. So, are you being basic? Basic. Yeah. Well, I decided to not be basic today. Mm. So I've decided that this episode, whether they like it or not, is sponsored by Old Smoky Moonshine. There you go. <laughs> um, and actually, I, I love the, I'm not a whiskey drinker, I'm not normally, but today I'm drinking the uh, Salted Caramel Whiskey with Coke. Yes, so that is what I'm caramel, drinking today. Caramel so, Coke. Yes, Caramel Coke. <laughs> it is, seriously, I mean, even if you don't like whiskey, this is the best. We That's pretty good. I'm going to have to do shots later. That's pretty good. I don't know. I, I, I felt like I, I needed something a little... Well, I'm not really a big beer drinker. Unless it's like Guinness. Mm. And I... And all, all day I've been thinking about, like, okay, what am I going to drink today? Because I could definitely use one, <laughs> you know? <laughs> what can I drink? And, uh, yeah. So... Oh, wow. We're getting some questions flying in here. Mm. Um, I see... And and if, you, if you're on the show with us a lot, you know, half the time I don't have the computer fired up, but I already did. You actually did, yeah. I did, I did. I already had it fired up here. You so came prepared to do it. It can happen. Um, it can happen. Alrighty, so yeah, I see um, Colin is saying happy Sunday to us. Brandon's here saying waving. Um, Brandon also says there's nothing wrong with basic. So, I know. Yeah. Okay. okay, and Gary says hello. Okay, well we actually have a good um, question right here. We'll go well, and jump into a tech question, right, and we will we'll circle. You know, there's plenty to talk about. That might keep, that might keep us off politics <laughs> for a little bit. So oh, <laughs> so hard though. So hard. Oh my God. Okay, Michael says, can you tell me if a 650 XP is a good carburetor for a 602 crate in street stock? Yeah, I mean it's not horrible. Uh, I mean the XP Holly is like out of the box are pretty decent carburetors. Um, of course, I'm always going to recommend that you talk to a carburetor builder, mm -hmm. you know, David Smith or uh, Willie's or something like that, and, and uh, go that route because it's more tailored for exactly what you, you're wanting to do. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. They're, 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 they're a good piece for what they are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're really solid. I mean, I mean, they're a little behind the times now since everybody's pretty much switching to billet center section stuff. But, you know, if your rules say you have to have a Holly center section, then, yeah, it's a good way to go. Now tell me what is what is the advantage of having a billet center section? Just versus the airflow. The airflow. Airflow. The airflow is crazy. Yeah. Well, and it, some of the tricks are I don't want to say tricks because that makes it sound um, not right. But some of the tips or the strategies or the advantages we can find that's what I'm looking for well, in crates. Um, you know, to really have the most success, we're finding them in carburetors, exhaust, and shocks. Mm -hmm. Like those are the. Those are the yeah. trifecta, the big three. I right mean, some, there. some of our newest stuff that we build is we're all the way down to 600 center section. So. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, we have uh, Scott on here. He says, Hi from California. And yes, I voted. And he can't get our video to run. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Um, <laughs> now, Jeff, Jeff Alsip, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and call up his last name. He says, no politics, but is the Krona active in Ukraine? Asking for, <laughs> asking for a friend. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it is. And unfortunately, they're more locked down than we are the last time I checked. Really? So, yeah. yeah we'll, have to, we'll have to wait for the, the Rona to be gone before I can take Mr. Elsa to Ukraine. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you know, I actually do have a question. Um, maybe somebody else can answer it. But, um, you know, I just... Just in case, um, just wondering, does the does the White House have a basement? <laughs> <laughs> I hope they do, because if that dumbass ultimately gets in, then that's where he's going to spend most of his time. Well, yeah, you know, um, and, and that was until he goes age. full on dementia. Yeah, which is what five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man! So you guys, go ahead and drop in your comments. Um, 
So tell me, Steve, what what are your thoughts on the current situation? Well, it's not over. Uh, to me, I mean, Biden and his whatever the hell you call her is uh, they're like they're like there's five laps to go and they got their hand out the window with the number one sign like they've won the race. So we'll, we'll wait and see. You know, I, that was really an interesting, um, you know, being so involved in racing that. I mean, the way that I see this, I can I see all this through the racing lens, mm -hmm. and it, you know that's a really good way to put it. But you know, we we also have to look at uh, you know well, right you've now. got a big big race, and there's going to be a protest, right, and there's right. a protest right yeah. now, and let's find out if if well, the engine's it's, legal. It's all about optics right now, so they're out claiming victory uh, when you know a lot of this stuff is going to go to court, and there's I don't I don't know. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, here's a tip for us all. I know something that you've already done, and something that I'm going to be doing is I want to make I want to find out if um, my grandparents voted in Minnesota. <laughs> right. Of course, because they're, they're all deceased now, so I want to find out if they voted. Yep. Um, you've already looked to see if your dad voted. Yep. In fact, he was off of the voter Correct. rules, which was good. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to find out if my grandparents um, voted from the grave. Yeah, there's like a lot of, you know. 150 year old people that voted in Michigan. Well, and so. I think that, you know, that's something we can each take on on our own. My absentee ballot. Yeah. So. Oh, of course they did. Yeah. yeah. They, they sent in for it, <laughs> signed it. Yeah. All of that. Hey, but you know, we do have some good stuff coming up. What's that? Well, of course, we have the Cars Racing Show yep, that's go. coming up in December, and everything's full speed ahead. So I, I want to give you guys a report on that because yesterday, okay. well, yesterday and today, there was a gun show at the Hickory Convention Center. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to find out. I mean, we are days from the election. Our governor in North Carolina has been reelected, apparently. Somehow that. We have idiot. no idea. No idea. No I idea. So, so pretty much North Carolina is kind of going for Trump. And then we elect this idiot back into office. But then we elect the black Republican Mark Robinson, who's like 100% pro gun dude, which I love because I voted for him. Yeah. As lieutenant governor. So we go, Republican, Democrat, Republican. It makes no sense. There's wonky shit going on everywhere. <clears throat> no, but you know, of course, there's a lot of talk about, um, you know, you know, just in the aftermath of this and having this same governor. A lot of questions about whether we can move forward with the show. And um, I was at the gun show yesterday, and it was, it was a lot of people at Good. the gun show. There was an officer at the door just maintaining a law and order, mm -hmm. which, you know, you really do need to have at a gun Probably show. Yeah. I mean, that is, uh, that's what one would expect um, well, at a gun show. Actually, you don't, because anybody going to a gun show is not a, uh, you know, psycho. So. Well, at this point, I think what we don't have to worry about the people who would want to go to the gun show. We would want to worry about the people who don't want other people going to the gun well, show. Well, there's that, yeah. So, I mean, I think I would be more comfortable i was yeah. perfectly comfortable it was there was nothing it was just you know standing at the door just this monitoring so you didn't see any karens there yesterday is what you're saying there was no karens the, you know i did find a karen today i went to lowe's <laughs> that's right went to lowe's <laughs> completely minding my own business i mean i just woke up and i was like in a and not the greatest of moods you know I'm, I'm not the most patient woman in the world yeah and uh no. <laughs> Never would have fucking guessed that. I know. Wow. <laughs> so here I am in Lowe's. And I mean, I was being a rebel. I mean, honestly, I mean, if, if I need to wear a mask somewhere, I'll wear a mask. But, you know, it, seriously, like 90% of any of the people were not wearing masks. So here I am, minding my own business, shopping in the aisles. And this old guy comes up to me, who should be running from me, with his surgical mask on, saying, <laughs> hey. And I'm like, well, hey. And he's like, um, don't you want to be safe? What? But you you know we're mask. Like you're right. No. And I just I think the stare that I gave him at that moment in time. <laughs> Pretty much told him to get the fuck out of my face. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not even an anti masker. I'm just like I'm just over it. But anyway, I just want to show that the, the gun show was um, they were able to run a successful show. If they can run a successful show with a gun show, yeah. Where these tables are six. Peter, you know, you got a six foot table and then you got the next, next guy with six, six foot, foot table. table. We got 10 by 10 booths. We got 10 by 20, 20 by 20 booths. We were going to be perfectly fine, you know, barring any um, great changes. But now that the election's over, I would just expect. It's not over. Well, 
I'm saying that, yes, I agree. It's not over. <laughs> um, that, well, the, the pre-election... Yeah, the the pre, the pre election the, pre, the, the court battle is yet to, yet to, no no I completely agree go. but but the the actual the reason to have us locked down yeah most of the lockdown reasoning is is kind of election based yeah it, and was, it was it, it was election based as as proof by you know what was it Portland that called in the national guard like the day after the election yeah like two days after yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. shit's only been going on since what. July, March. July, March, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Hundred and something days or whatever. Yeah. So No, I was like, yeah, more than that. Yeah. Anyway, if you're not if you're not already, get registered for the show. Carsracingshow.com. Yep. Get registered for the show because we wanna we wanna expedite the whole process and we wanna have badges printed beforehand. So that's why we're saying, hey, sign up now and you can get in for free. That's pretty cool. I mean, I had to pay. I had to pay like fifteen dollars to go into the gun show. No Karens alone. No Karens. No. Well, I mean, you know, there's there's a couple Karens out there that are just nice people that don't have mask issues. But yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's see some more comments here. Questions. Um, let's see. Okay. So Brian's saying, "Hey, Kate, the crate late model class, um, the chassis school is over half full." Now that's of course coming up in January. And in order to sign up for that is racelogic.vip. You're going to be one of the speakers there. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be one of the speakers there. Um, also, you know. No clue what I'm going to say yet, but yeah, I'll be there. Well, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're a unicorn. You're going to come in and you're going to, you're, you're a goat, right? You're a goat or a unicorn. Wouldn't you pick one? And you're going to come up there and have all the magical advice for everyone. Uh, maybe. No, if, I mean. If my teleprompter is working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you going to make up some words? <laughs> I might have to. Yeah. <laughs> you might. And I might just have to uncontrollably gill giggle for no reason, <laughs> just because. I mean, I'm quite sure I'll use, you know, thingy-mabobber and, and widget and everything else over time. So. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Gary says, need a mask for my 602. Don't want it to get the Rona. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 Don't go to a Biden rally, then, because mm -hmm. that's always... Uh... Uh, you mean those super spreader events now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see this whole thing where he, like, spoke to a parking lot full of Jeeps? No. Yeah. That was, like, I think it was yesterday. You know, when he came out and claimed victory. Well, he, I, I just, honestly, I just couldn't he, even he, watch. He spoke to a parking lot full of red, white, and blue Jeeps. Wow. Pretty shocked. Anyways. Uh, I'm not even shocked anymore. <laughs> I'm like seriously not even shocked by much of anything anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really am not. No. So what else is going on in your world, Steve? Nothing. Uh, nothing exciting. I was in a good mood till Friday and then uh, my oldest son decided to be a total dickhead so I threw all his shit out of my shop. There's okay. that. Yeah. Not Alex. The other one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Jeff says, FYI, there is a basement in the White House. My friends Bill and Monica told me. <laughs> also doubles as a cigar room. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's, I mean, that's winning. Winning, yep. right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. And of course, uh, Facebook has decided to crash on me, so which is interesting. They might have just kicked your ass off. They, they might have. It's hard to say. We're talking about Joe. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here, I'm back up again. All right. Yeah, but, around. yeah, go ahead and uh, drop us in, um... If you guys have any questions or comments or, or anything, really, we'd like to show up on this show, and we're just trying to not get kicked off Facebook. But, um, hey, um, there is another app out there. I actually signed up months and months ago, and it's called Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R. -E mm -hmm. It's an app. It's kind of like a kind of like a Twitter, I would say, more so. Right. Um, and you can follow people, and, and, follow, and they can follow you, and you can share articles and and things like hmm. that kind of, kind of like twitter I would say it's not as in-depth as facebook but it you know the the reason i never really jumped on it too hardcore is because it is like the very conservative version of facebook so hmm. whereas you know over on facebook here you know i've got liberal friends and i have conservative friends right. and i'm somewhere somewhere in the middle there is is where i feel like well, i land I'm never much for echo chambers so Oh, the funny thing is when you share, they actually call it an echo. <laughs> like I said, I'm not much for echo chamber. <laughs> like the entire state of California is an echo chamber. All my friends out there, they echo chamber their thoughts that 
are identical to one another's. Back and forth and back and forth is just wow. Well, and I get that, which is which is why I mean I like to be fully represented on lots of different things. Oh, right. um, at the same time, there's there are probably things out there that I'm not going to be able to see on Facebook because they're the access will be limited. So by being on Parlor, I'll be able to have access to information that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Oh yeah, any anything you say any, anything conservative. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, James says, holy crap, I didn't have to watch this on reruns tonight at work. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate that very much. Yep. Yeah. So how busy are you at the shop still? It's insane. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll... I mean, to be honest, I mean, after Tuesday... I think I probably had 30 phone calls during the week, the rest of the week. Yeah. So, like, as opposed to four years ago, when Trump was obviously elected outright, uh, and my phone started blowing up the next day, it's kind of gone the other way, so, eh, we'll see what happens. So, 30 is not a lot, then? For the rest of the week? No. Okay. Yeah. Just people just kind of seeing what's going to happen? Yeah, I think so. I think everybody's in limbo. Yeah, I think we all what are. What they're going to do with their next dollar, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm a bit concerned about that. But, you know, I mean, if the uh, Republicans uh, maintain the Senate, then basically Biden's going to be an ineffective piece of shit. You know, I'm wondering um, if I could identify as a Georgian. <laughs> Why? So I can vote in the Senate race. Well, I mean, I mean, the, the other <laughs> night I was like offering to like sell like one foot square plots of land on my property so people who live in blue states can, you know, come here every four years and vote. Yeah, get their absentee ballots. Yeah. Well, because you know, I mean, if you're a Republican in a blue state, your vote just does not count. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, we need. We need totally to not voter fraud. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're so quiet though. Like I'm used to you being pretty vociferous, and you're you're like I'm just you know kind of chilling. Just, just chill wait, yeah. just wait, wait for it. Wait and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty crappy though that Judge Janine was uh, pulled from Fox last night. Her show was. Yeah, I heard that. And that or she was suspended. That. Yeah, that yeah, she was suspended from Fox. Yeah, so I don't want to be suspended from Facebook. No, you know what's gonna be funny though. Hmm. <laughs> Is like if Trump does lose all this shit, and then he makes his own news organization, and actually hires people who report real news, <laughs> that's going to be hilarious. Oh, I mean, I mean, I think you know a poll that I would love to put out there is how many people are on Twitter just to be, just to watch what Donald Trump has to say. <laughs> Probably half of Twitter. <laughs> a good number of them. I'm not because I don't get it. I think it's a pile of crap. So yeah. <laughs> but I think there's some truth to that because, I mean, really, the, that's the only reason for me to actually go over to Twitter is to find out, especially in the beginning of his presidency, because what was purported on the news was, was not at all what was going on. I mean, like, he didn't know. So he was just, when he would tweet, he would just say what was going on. Yeah. Like, hey, met with the, you know, mm -hmm. uh, prime minister of such and such. So, yeah. so yeah, I guess, yeah, there's uh, no sense in getting all the hell about anything yet until we let this play out. That's it. But it does take me back to 2000, for sure. That's why, well, yeah, the hanging chads. Oh, my gosh. You know, wow, it's amazing how these things, like, they take on a person's name. You know, back then, you didn't want to be named Chad. <laughs> and today, you don't want to be, be named, named Karen. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have questions, drop them in here. Drop them in, or whatever comments you have. I mean, this is, we or show we can up just the shut this shit off early and, like, eat. Yeah, well, and drink whiskey. I'm yeah. drinking whiskey. So tell us, what are you drinking um, on this fine Sunday afternoon? Um, I'm asking our audience. Oh. Yeah, what they're drinking on this fine Sunday afternoon. So let us know. Well, I was just thinking about evil assistant Tori. We might have to shit can her since if Trump isn't elected. So. We are not at all <laughs> ever, ever firing... Evil assistant Tory. Evil assistant Tory. Ever. <laughs> ever. Now, I have seriously, like, the best assistant I could ever ask for in the whole world. So, 
Yeah. Oh, and uh, let's see. Hey, Brian says, how do y'all from a blue state that uh, we don't know anyone who voted blue? <laughs> Welcome to the club, dude. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Yeah, and, and what we're suggesting is uh, make sure that none of your dead, uh, your deceased relatives voted blue. Yeah, exactly. I think we all need to... Or your pets. You know, and I had thought about it. I, I had thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James is drinking Jim Beam peach and juice. Ooh, nice. Oh, you got some like crown peach. You got a lot of whiskey for I your birthday. Some, yeah, I got an asshole crown for my birthday. Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, I think you got um the caramel. caramel apple and or did you get caramel apple or it was just caramel and then it was peach and yeah. What'd you get? So, so, several different ones. Yeah. Like, pretty much everything that, that Crown makes right now, I got. <laughs> so. Get the entire collection. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, I, I kind of am somebody that's like that. Yeah. That mm -hmm. I like the whole collection of whatever it is that I buy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, keep asking us questions. I mean, we will answer any tech questions. We answered a good carburetor question. You know what I'm looking forward to, though? That now we are only weeks away from finding out about the new racing products. Because the answer when we find out is in December, the new, the new racing oh, products. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, at, at the trade show. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, find out a lot of new stuff, probably. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, my trade show booth display arrived. Did it's it? this giant, giant... Thing? Giant suitcase thing that's in my house now. Yeah. Giant. I haven't even set it up yet, because cool. there's just not enough room on my floor, so... I should go next door and set there's it up. There's more room in the shop now. You can just come set it up there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that and my new pallet racking, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, and Jeff says, hope nobody is drinking the Biden Kool-Aid. Hey, um, we are not. Oh, um, John is drinking a crown ginger and lime juice. Ooh, that sounds good. That does sound good. Hmm, crown ginger and lime juice. That does sound good. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you could just even go with regular crown, and I have limes, and I have ginger. Right. Yeah. Go, like, full-on real thing kind of thing there. Yeah. Oh, and Susie says, hey, Steve and Kate. Yes. Hey there, Susie. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we're, I guess we're a little quieter. Yeah, well, I'm very just, angry. Just, we've got a lot to talk about this week because, like, everything is kind of in limbo. Race season's kind of winding down. Yeah, who won the who won the sprint car race? I don't know. I don't either. Yeah, I know. Um, was it McCready that won the... McCready won the last night and Brandon won the uh, first night. Okay. Oh, I just thought they were doing qualifying the first night and mm -hmm. then the features. Okay, yeah. so they did like a double feature. So if you know who runs won the sprint car race, um, that'd be interesting. I mean, obviously Kyle Larson's done really well this year, but right. that doesn't mean he won every single thing. <laughs> or does, I mean, he got second a couple of times. I know he set two track records <laughs> That's in a light model. So. That is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, because there have been some amazing... Um, and of course, uh, the week before with the short track deal, uh, Cody Everything he set uh, or he was fast time. Okay. Overall, I think he finished like fifth in the feature, but he was uh, fast time in one of our guys. Yeah. So he says, "Hey, how do we get over this election?" Well, Susie, the election is not over yet. No. Nope. So if we look back um, 20 years, and we can see that the media declared Al Gore as the winner, and 37 days later, he was not the winner. Correct. So, you know, until we really know, and um, and you know what, we need to know because we need the transparency, and because without transparency, then you can't have trust. Correct. So, uh, you know, it's it's imperative that we're able to trust our elections in this country, yeah. regardless of how it comes out. Well, I mean, the main thing. The I mean, we literally have to find out how many dead people actually voted. Yeah. Because, you know, that happened in Michigan, and it's already been proven. Mm -hmm. And then there was computer glitches that erased votes for for one side. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? And then, of course, there's, you know, like, four in the morning uh, ballot, ballot dumps, dumps where 100% of the vote goes to one candidate and not the other. And or a lot or of those, even the, another one. And a lot yeah. of those votes are just marked at Biden. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. literally the only thing. Yeah. But do you know what the computer glitch reminds me of? You remember that movie Office Space? Mm -hmm. I love that movie. And the whole idea is that they were going to put this little piece of software in, or this program, and they were a financial company. And the idea was that they were like, pr whatever they were processing, they would round up by like fractions of a penny. 
and then they would divert that money into a mm -hmm. bank account and and it wouldn't be anything too obvious and of course right. it was like a couple million dollars yeah. in like five minutes kind of thing yeah. well and that's actually what that reminds me it of does. i mean if you just scrape off just a little bit like nobody's gonna know the difference well there was like a uh uh what do you call it a uh, uh whoever just tabulates votes dominion uh, Okay, during the uh, primaries in uh, Houston, or in Houston, Texas, there was one uh, vote counter person, or whatever the hell you call him, who single-handedly changed seven thousand votes, and to the person they wanted to win, and they're actually being prosecuted in the state of Texas right now for voter fraud, right? Or voting fraud, or whatever. The hell you call yeah, election tampering. Election or... tampering, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it happens. We know it does. Let's just find out where it happened this time because it definitely did. Well, and there's certainly places that have a to reputation. What extent, for to it. what extent we don't know. I mean, I mean, if Biden wins, Biden wins. I mean, there's exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if it's fair but, and square. But you, you so would, be it. you would think he'd want everything to be above board as well. Well, otherwise, because it just, half the country is going to say, you know, you're not legit. So. Well, uh, otherwise, we'd have to put an asterisk by him. Right. You know, put an asterisk next maybe. to his name. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We don't really know, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's honestly like, it's kind of like the Kennedy-Nixon thing. Because <laughs> that was pretty fixed, too. Right. I was just reading about that today. How Chicago, you know, miraculously came up with enough votes for, for JFK to win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, not saying that it was half as bad. Now, um, this is an interesting comment. Jeff mm -hmm. says, Lanigan is going back to Rocket. Yes. Uh, Alex actually told me that yesterday. Me and him went to lunch. And uh, he was telling me about that, so. Well, I mean, didn't he have, he I mean, he had his whole, like, Club 29 thing, right? Yeah. So, what's what's up with that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I mean, is, wasn't he, like, building his own chassis? Isn't that the whole point yeah, of the Black Club Yeah, Black Diamond, Club, Club 29, yeah. Yeah. So, that's interesting. Hmm. It's always interesting, like, this time of year where there's all the shuffling from... Oh, it's from, silly season. Yeah. Silly season, except, uh, yeah, we're not hearing a lot about it because it's kind of being drowned out by... Everything else. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. Whew, I know. This is kind of short. I don't really have a whole lot of other things to say. As far as I'm concerned, we don't have any excuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're ready to just call it a week. I'm ready to call it a week. Go the hell home. <laughs> I think it might have scared people off. I put into the description, like, this is an opinionated show. <laughs> oh, is that for Chris? Pretty much for Chris, yeah. <laughs> Chris. Chris doesn't like us. No. He, he doesn't like our political yeah, Chris opinions. Can but. Hey, it's all about um, <laughs> just fairness and truth yeah. and transparency. So that's um, mm -hmm. that's the only thing. I mean, that's the only way we stay uh, being a free nation is our, our yeah, free and fair elections. So there we go. All righty. Well, I guess we will um, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I'm going to go buy skunk food and go home. Okay. Well, I want to thank you all for watching, and be sure to register for the Cars Racing Show at carsracingshow.com. And also, if you're interested, Crate Lay Model class, we are doing that in Lenore, Tennessee in January. Um, go to racelogic.vip. You could also sign up or alternatively sign up if you run a street stock. You could sign up for the street stock class that we are having down in Woodstock, Alabama at High Roller Chassis in January as well. So I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of the show. And we'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday on yeah, Unsealed. Absolutely. All right. Have a great week. See you.